hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's me ij designs your new fashion teacher today we are going to learn how to take an accurate body measurement measurement is the most important thing in sewing why the reason is that when your measurement is wrong automatically the end product will be wrong after sewing there will be a lot of problems so in order to get your sewing right, your measurement must be right. So now guys, what do you need to take an accurate body measurement? You need three things. First, you need your board, your measurement tape. Your measurement tape, you need it for your measurements. You need a book in order to put the measurement down. And you also need a pen. These are the three things that you need in taking an accurate body measurement so in, to in today's tutorial we are going to use my manicure and by name miss vivi so i'm going to use miss vivi to show us how i take my body measurement so so guys let's get started in measurements there are two parts of the body that are required to be measured. Two types of measurements. One is the vertical. What is the vertical? The straight measurement of the body. Like you see the tape? That is the vertical. The straight measurement from your shoulder to the foot. That is the vertical. And what is the horizontal? That's the round part of the body. The round part of the body, the bust the waist, the hip, Th these are the horizontal measurements. So now, I, would, I take my measurement first from the shoulder. The shoulder, that is where I always get started when taking my measurements. Now, that's the back of Miss Vivi. In human body, there are two bones that are here. In every human being, there are two bones that are here. So, in, in a simple way, put your tape from the first. If you're measuring from the right hand, put your tape from the right part of the bone on the shoulder to the left. With this measurement now, Miss Vivi is 12. That is her shoulder measurement is 12 inches. Guys, I always like to work with inches. I don't like working with centimeter because centimeter is always little, little numbers. But the inches are bigger numbers, so I prefer the inches. So you can work with what you like, the inches or the centimeters, but I prefer the inches. So now, that's the, Miss Vivi is 12. Then you put it down as 12, the shoulder is 12. Then we now start with the vertical measurement, which is the straight part of the body. Then from the upper part of, if you look at the human shoulder, it is not straight. Human shoulder has a curve. So while taking your measurement, always put your tape at the higher part of your shoulder down to your bust. For Miss Vivi, her bust point is 10. That's 10. So... From shoulder to the bust point, you put down 10. That is 10 inches. From the bust point, then you get the under bust. For Miss Vivi, her under bust is 13. Normally, in under bust measurements, it is between 3 and 4 inches difference from the bust point. That is 3 and 4 inches different from the bust point. You you get the under bust. So you put it down. From the under bust, always make sure that your tape is accurate. From the under bust, you place your hand to your waist. For her, the waist is 16. From the waist, you get to the hip. But for me, I like taking my hip from the back side in order to get it correctly. I put my tape from my shoulder down to the hip for her the hip point that is the bigger point of the hip is 12 that is the 
vertical measurements. Then you continue. When you have gotten the hip measurement, the next measurement is your desired length of the cloth that you are making. Are you making a gown, a long gown, a short gown, whatever gown that you are making, you take the accurate measurement. For instance, let's say that the gown we are making is this, that means Vivi is putting on. The measurement where we have to stop, because it is longer in this one part of it, we had to go and get it. That is going to be 40 inches. That's it, 40 inches from the shoulder. That is the desired measurement. If it is a long gown, you get to wherever you want it to be. That is how to get the vertical measurement of the body. If it is at the knee, anywhere that is your desired measurement, you take your tape down from the shoulder down to wherever you want your measurement to be. Now, guys, let's look at the horizontal measurement. The horizontal measurement is the bust measurement. And guys, please, when you are taking a measurement, try to put on a cloth that is simple. Don't put on a bada cloth or kaftan cloth or any cloth that will make it difficult to take your normal measurement. Ask your client or your customer or yourself to put a simple cloth that will make you see the shape of your body that you are taking. Please don't forget that. Now, in the bust measurement, while taking the bust measurement, make sure that the tape is well fixed. Don't let your tape to be at the down. For instance, you are taking the bust measurement and the tape is here. To get to the bust, automatically your measurement will be wrong. <laughs> your tape is so, no. Your tape has to be at the edge where that your bra always be in order to get the measurement so now guys how to take the bust measurement you have to go by this you take your measurement like this at the edge where your bra is at the point there you take it you have to take it in this form just take your time in order to get your measure don't rush because when you rush your clothes will not be what you want and there will be a problem at the end of it. So now, you put your measurement in this form, in the bust point, area of the bust. Guys, can see here, it's deep. So I don't like to put my measurement so. When you put your measurement, it is not always correct. I come at the side of the bust in order to get it. Now, the bust measurement is 33. Always make it to be free. So that it doesn't look so pressed after you have finished making the clothes. So now I put a finger, look at my finger under it. So the bust measurement is starting. Make sure you put your finger to give it the allowance that it needs. So the bust point, you put it down. Now you go to the waist. You take your waist measurement. This is 26. Always put your hands, your finger under it to give it. A little bit of allowance but but guys always try to do or always listen to your customer when taking your measurement but because some of the ladies like their clothes to be tight some want it to be a little bit fitted a little bit loose so please sometimes you go by the desired um, by the desire of your customer now Another measurement you have to take is the hip measurement. The highest point of your hip, the highest point of your hip, at the highest point of your hip, that is where you put your measuring tape. For her, the highest point of her hip, hip, you have to put the highest point of the hip. That is where to get the hip measurement, the highest point of the hip, hip. Where the hip protrudes, the highest point of the hip, that is where you get your hip measurement. Try to make it to be free, not to be too tight or to be too loose in order to get your measurement. That is the way I take my body measurement while taking measurement for my client or for myself. Another measurement is the armhole. Make sure that the armhole is a little bit free. 
that when the person puts on the cloth, the person will be free and it will not be too tight or too loose. So always put your finger to give it the allowance that is required. Then when cutting your material, you will not add your sewing allowances. Then you come to the biceps. That's the biggest point of the arm, the upper arm. That is the bicep. You take your measurements, then you put it down. You take your ankle measurements, your elbow measurement, sorry, your elbow measurement, you put it down. Your pulse measurement, also put it down, depending on the sleeve. If it is a long sleeve, you get to this. But when it's not a long sleeve, it is a short sleeve, you take the opening of the sleeve, wherever the desired length of the sleeve is. This is the way I take my body measurements. And another measurement that is very, very essential for ladies in making clothes, especially the new trending clothes now, is the nipple to nipple measurement. It is where the fitting of the clothes lies. From one nipple to the other is the nipple to nipple measurement. That's how to take it. So the nipple to nipple measurement. By the time that you have gotten all this measurement, depending on what style or clothes you are making, I believe you will get your measurement right because this is the way I do my own measurement. So guys, today we have come to the end of today's tutorial, how to take an accurate body measurement. Please, I remain your girl, IJ Designs. Try to subscribe to my channel like share and comment on my videos please hit on the notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever i upload a new video i love you guys and i will continue to be sharing my knowledge with you all thank you and remain blessed bye